Hello there, this is another video tutorial describing how to use some of the activities on www.fiznos.com. All these activities can be found on the site. Uh, today's tutorial is about the percentage fraction and decimal grid. So I'll start by launching it right now. Now this isn't a particularly uh, complicated activity. Just as a reminder, when you move say mouse pointer over a control, you'll see in the top there a description of what the control does. We're going to start using the paints themselves. So as you can see, the grid is completely empty or completely white, however you want to say it. So what I'm going to use is this orange paint here and paint some of it. So as I do that, this is going to change the fraction percentage and decimal value for this grid. So if we reveal what the fraction is, we find it's 19 over 100. And if I add one more orange, you'll make it 20 over 100 and you'll see that that cancels down which brings us to this control you can change that behavior to show the uncancelled fraction by clicking to toggle but let's leave it as a simplified version so one fifth as a percentage will be 20 percent and so as a decimal that will be 0.2 we can work out what's white uh, that must be four fifths 80% and 0.8. So that's using a paint to do it. And as you can see, as I change it, all these will update live and you can hide them or show them like so. So let's um, remove that now. Um, hide these. And let's look at the random um, control. So each time you press this, you'll get a random grid and you can reveal what's on there. You could use this for estimation. At the moment, you only see white and orange. So we can change this by changing the number of colors. So if I make it three, we get an extra color here. And now when I click random, you'll see there's three colors on the grid and you can work out what each of these are. When you press random, um, the pieces are all over the place in a randomized fashion naturally. This button here will align all the light colours. So now you've got a better chance of being able to count what each colour actually represents. You can um, do this up to five different colours, like so. Uh, when you want to clear a grid, press the trash. And let's move on to this control here. Let's create another random one. Align it. And let's see this represented as a circle rather than a square. So you click this control here, and now you see it as a you know more typical uh, pie representation. You can also use the colors to paint this in the same way as the grid. Uh, one thing I should point out, a um, little bit different from the fraction more, you put your mouse down and move over. To remove a color, you click the white and then move around. I've always shown you so far uh, 100 squares or 100 of these slices. So you can also change this. So here we have tenths. So this would be interesting. Uh, let's remove some of these colors. So here we can nicely show what one tenth is as a fraction. One tenth as a percentage, 10%, and as a decimal, 0.1. Uh, if we increase it, we can see how these will change again. You can swap that if you want to show the young simplified version. I think that's pretty much it as far as the um, fraction percentage decimal grid works. Hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Thanks for watching.